Hey everyone, welcome to Drive-By Reviews, where today we're looking at a bike chain cleaner. Now, ever since I got into taking care of my bikes, being a little bit, you know, more of a, I don't know what you call it, a studious biker? No, 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 a responsible biker, right? Taking care of your equipment. Uh, I got into these chain cleaners because it's, it's much easier to clean with these nice devices that just allow you to pull the chain through it. Um, but you'll notice there's quite a bit of difference in cost and quality out there. So I, I decided I'd try another low cost option, uh, which you'll see right here, because depending on how it was manufactured and designed, it may or may not be my next go-to. Now what you'll notice about these low cost ones is the gears fit well enough, but typically they tend to fall out. Oh, okay, it's kind of stuck in there. Well, that's a good sign. <laughs> it's always a good sign when it just doesn't pop out. All right, now you got the gears in there. These things just kind of sit in their trays and all goes together. So you gotta be careful when you use these because if you just kind of, you know, throw it like this when you're dumping the water out, all this will fall into the ground, no good. Um, but let's try it out on my Marin and see how it works with actually cleaning the chain. All right, so right off the bat, you can see how dirty my chain is before I start cleaning it. I'm gonna use this Clean Bright, uh, diluted one to 10. I kind of use the same bottle over and over again. And it's pretty easy, you just take off the handle, it's got a little clip push button there, and you push towards the arrow, up and away, it opens it up so you can put it onto the chain. Now, I like to fill it up all the way to that ridge. Basically, any farther it'll start spilling out on its own, and you get a good amount of cleaner in there. It's gonna spill it as you do it anyway, so make sure you're doing this over someplace you don't mind getting cleaner on the ground. All right, and then you just put it onto the chain, underneath, and then you put the lid up on top inside the holes and then push it away from the arrow. And then once you get that on, you're gonna put the handle back on into the clip until it latches and then it's good and on there. And you're supposed to pull it this way. I sometimes go back and forth, but going uh, with a backpedaling motion pulls the chain through the cleaners as it brushes it and then it hits that rubber end and it's supposed to pull off all the loosened, you know, grime and oil and basically all the grub that's on your chain. Now I did, in order to get this clean, I did about three, four passes with the cleaner and then three, four passes with water. And I got most of it off. I had to go into my cogs a little bit with my brush, which is what you should be doing anyways. And here we go to TriFlow. TriFlow is a nice lubricating oil I like to use. Pretty classic, you mark your chain with a Sharpie and then you put one drop for every single chain link. And there you have it, you've cleaned your chain, you lubricated it and it's ready to go out on the road again. And this is my, my wet rainy day commuter bike, so it's, it's got to have that good stuff. Well, there you have it, guys. All in all, I say it's a pretty dang good option. Uh, it does fall apart a bit. It's, it's cheaper, but it does the job just as much as the more expensive version, these bicycle chain cleaners. So there you have it. And thanks for tuning in, guys. Don't forget to keep your chains clean and your bikes purdy.